the Indigenous Sunrise Ceremony that used to open the Bioneers Conference was canceled by the county because there was such low water quality. What's happening is the waste from the pathways and the lawns adjacent to the lagoon are being washed directly into that water body. So our third recommendation was floating islands. How the system works is there's, um, you deny the plants of soil, the roots are therefore forced to pull, it's a hydroponic system in a way, the roots are forced to uh, pull the nutrition straight out of the water. The enzymes on the roots is what jump starts the ecosystem with the micro, little micro invertebrates and all the little creatures that then become eaten by bigger creatures and bigger creatures and that's how it works. It also provides cooling by just being shade on top of the water, which is very important in a shallow water body like the Marin Civic Center Lagoon. On the market uses a plastic mesh where the roots twine into that mesh. And um, so we decided we would get away from it. We stopped our project, it was a hard decision, I made it, and I went to Indigenous Wisdom and I said, please help us. And I found Monique after searching for a long time. <laughs> and here she is. This is my willow basket that I wove, and um, I've never woven anything this big. It's literally six feet tall, and, um, and kind of brought it up on the edges. The edges we thought would maybe deter some of the birds from coming in. It did not. <laughs> um, and so they really like to eat the plants that we planted in there. Judy actually had um, some roots, some root system that she pulled up, a big mat, and we put that on top of um, the on top of the tule layer. We thought that would help with the roots. We didn't want anything to fall in, um, just in case. So that's kind of what you see there, and Aurora putting in the, the plants. If we're going with the plastic systems, it's around $50 a square foot. And if we go with the biological systems, it comes down to around $25 a square foot. What we're looking at is like 300 of the floating islands to cover that lagoon, to be, um, to do what we want it to do. So that, that's a lot of work. It, yeah, that would be 2% <laughs> of the surface area right. of the lagoon. And that's the average formula. Between 1 and 3%, between 1 and 3% of the surface area of any water body, regardless of depth, is required to provide the biofiltration. If you think about it, that's about what, a, like a natural water body that's permanent, you know, not ephemeral. So we're replicating a living edge by floating it out there in the water. If you look at your own body and you look at your hair and the places where you have hair, I bet it's the same percentage, between one and three percent. Ours was arroyo. arroyo. Yeah, and I found out there's like seven different species of willow that grow out here. Yeah. So I think any, almost any species of willow.